Welcome back to the Unity tutorial series. I'm Frosty Gaming, and today I'm going to talk to you about downloading and installing Unity. Alright, so last time I showed you this download page, but I neglected to say something. Uh, so if you've got Windows, right, it should say Windows up here. And if you've got o OS X, then, you, like, if you're using Mac, then it should say OS X or some form of Mac OS. Uh, if it doesn't, if you're using a Mac and it says Windows up here, then you can see this little line down here. It says, oh, there it is. So then you download it there. Otherwise, everything should be fine. And uh, once you get it downloaded, you can run the EXE, the installer. All right, and then you'll get this setup page. If this doesn't come up, if it gives you an error like uh, you need Windows XP or later or something, obviously you probably have Windows XP or later, but it's still going to say that. Uh, if you get that error, then just go into your downloads and right click and uh, run as admin, run as administrator on the .exe installer, and it should work fine. So then you go through here. This is the licensing agreement. If you want to read that, you can. It's all boring legal stuff, if you ask me. All right, so then you can select the components that you'd like to install. Well, Unity's a given. An example product project, if you want to do that, I'm not going to download that. The Unity development web player, I suggest that you leave that checked. And MonoDevelop, I'm actually not going to be using MonoDevelop, but MonoDevelop is a, an IDE, so a code, a, a programming interface they can use to write scripts in. It's got a lot of IntelliSense that's built in with Unity, and that's really nice, but I'm not going to use that because it's garbage in my opinion. I don't like it. I'd rather use Visual Studio. I'd rather use any other text editor but this. It does a lot of auto-correcting that's wrong, and just a lot of other stuff that I don't like. So I'm not going to use that. I'll show you how to set this up without mono develop later. Alright, so then we have where you're going to install it. This is fine with me. Alright, now that we're done installing, we have uh, this window where it gives us the option to run Unity after we finish or leave it. Uh, I'm going to run it. All right, so for me, what's going on is uh, Unity goes ahead and opens up a project right away because I've set up Unity before. But what's going to happen with you if it's your first time using Unity and installing it is you're going to have a page where it's going to ask you if you want to activate the free version or the pro or 30 days free of the pro version or something else well what I suggest you do is activate the free version now don't mess with the pro version until you understand unity a little bit better and uh, also if uh, you don't have an account it's gonna have an option to create an account so you're gonna want to do that and it's really easy and simple and then it's gonna ask you to fill out a questionnaire which is just about like your game development background, the size of your team, random questions like that, it doesn't take long. Get that done. And then it's gonna ask you whether you want to open an existing project or uh, create a, a new project. Well, what you can do is it's gonna give you this page, the project wizard. And so you're gonna have a path, right? and so wherever you want it to be mine is in documents but you can put it wherever you want to put it you can just browse and then give it uh, a name and then there's this thing down here you, you can import any of these packages I'm not going to do it uh, right now I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff right now but uh, down here is kind of an important detail it says the defaults for 3D or 2D we're going to do 3D and then we're going to create a new project. Now I've already created a new project and uh, it's it should come up and the interface should look like this. 
So now you've created your new projects. Uh, you got it installed, you got Unity going, and now we're looking at the interface. This is all I'm going to do for this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the interface a little bit more and what everything means. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye.